In this video, we will show you how to install a MicroShift Sword front derailleur. The tools you will need are a torque wrench, 4 and 5mm hex bits, 3, 4 and 5mm hex wrenches, and a cable cutter. Let's get started on installation. First, use a 5mm hex wrench and loosely attach the derailleur to the seat tube using the brazon attachment or band clamp. Here is how you attach the brazon version of the Sword double front derailleur. For this installation, we are using the band clamp version. The only difference in setup between the derailleurs is the mounting style. Next, position the derailleur so that the outer plate of the chain guide is parallel with the largest chain ring. Vertically, you want about 1 to 3 millimeters of clearance between the derailleur and chain ring. Once you have the derailleur positioned properly, tighten the mounting bolt to 5 to 7 newton meters. Route the chain through the rear derailleur and around the small chain ring. For proper chain measurement, check out the Sword 2x rear derailleur installation video. To set the low limit, start with the chain on the smallest chain ring, then shift the rear derailleur to the largest cog. This puts the chain at its most inboard position. Turn the low limit screw until the space between the chain and the front derailleur's inner plate is about half of a millimeter. Turning the screw clockwise moves the cage toward the outer chain ring, and turning it counterclockwise allows it to move farther toward the inner chain ring. Next, route your shift cable and housing. Every frame manufacturer has a different cable routing guideline, so make sure you consult those first before sizing and cutting your housing. A feature of the sword derailleur is the housing stop on the derailleur. Not only does it allow you to run full housing all the way to the derailleur, it also lets you adjust cable tension without using an inline barrel adjuster. Route the shift cable through the housing and out of the housing stop. Then route the cable through the cable guides and under the cable fixing bolt and washer. Pull tight to remove any slack and secure the cable fixing bolt to 5 to 7 newton meters. Trim the cable, add a cable end, and place the end of the cable in the guide below the pinch bolt. To make the high limit adjustment, shift to the largest chain ring and smallest cog on the cassette. This puts the chain at its most outboard position. Turn the high adjustment screw until the gap between the chain and the outer plate of the derailleur is about half a millimeter. Turning the screw clockwise moves the cage towards the inner chain ring, and turning it counterclockwise allows it to move farther toward the outer chain ring. Give the crank set a few spins to make sure that the chain does not contact the outer plate at any point. Now shift between the chain rings. If the chain struggles to shift from the largest to smallest chain ring, your cable is too tight. Use a 3mm hex wrench and turn the cable tension adjustment screw clockwise to decrease cable tension. If you find the chain does not easily climb from the smallest to largest chain ring, tighten the cable by turning the cable tension adjustment screw counterclockwise to increase cable tension. Make incremental cable tension adjustments and test for function after each adjustment. If you have any questions, please email us at service at microshift.com.